Manchester City, though, are also unbeaten in three in the Barclays Women's Super League after wins over Aston Villa, Tottenham Hotspur and also Manchester United. With Chelsea losing last week and Arsenal losing yesterday and play every single minute for Manchester City in the Barclays Women's Super League this season. Opportunity to get things going down Everton's right. Bjarne and now here is Garley. Back three, Megan Finnegan, the top goal scorer for Everton this season with three goals. And in some way, that goes to show you part of the problem that Everton have been having. In the lineup today for Everton. And well, that was a fabulous chance here in the early stages. Bunny with a pass here towards Hemp. Hemp on the burst. Was she pulled down as she made her way forward? Yes, she was. Bunny Shaw for Manchester City. Sees the penalty saved. Kelly's corner is thumped away. Well, that moment, that penalty save from Courtney Brosnan may just give the spark. An incident packed, opening eight and a half minutes here. Shaw hooking goalwards and making a man. Make it short here towards Coombs. And now Hasegawa, who lifts one to the edge of the six yard box where it's cleared away. Field. Everton have struggled to get the ball out of their own half. A rare opportunity to do so here. Tenacious play by Payne and a clever turn by Snus, who lifts one towards Payne. Now Sorensen swings one in, again watching the cross turned away by Manchester City. Piemonte onto it. Scoring plenty, scored two against Aston Villa, scored a peach against Tottenham Hotspur. And able Through. Again, the target was Bunny Shaw. Bunny Shaw turns away from Finnegan, strikes low, hard and true. Hasegawa feeds the pass through, on towards Rawls. While well, the pressure for Everton has just been relentless. And it doesn't look like relenting here. Tanside has spent most of the game over on the right. Hasegawa idolizes Iniesta. Maybe, just maybe, this is their time. Off goes Kelly, lovely awareness to play the cut back and it's poked. Everton take their moment to regroup and possibly look to be a bit more forward thinking. The international, Alex Greenwood. Looking to bring the ball away. Alex. Lovely close control from Lauren Hemp. Drags the ball this way and that. Hasegawa in towards Bunny Shaw. Saw the chance well blocked. It's not too long though before Manchester City will pick the ball up again. And Kasparai feeds it back towards Rawls. Hasegawa. Stumbled by Greenwood, who does well to recover and win the ball back off of Aurora Gar. Turns one around the corner, and Everton are on the attack, trying to get themselves away by the goalkeeper, Kiara Keating.
Greenwood on towards Hasegawa. Everton will go more direct, but Greenwood able to mop up, able to get to the header. Combination that worked for goal number three for Manchester City. Now Hasegawa will strike from the edge of the six-yard box. There was also the effort that came back off of the post. But it's Manchester City who have managed to find that goal-scoring touch. Roll between her legs as she goes back to Keating and Hasegawa under pressure. He's also happy to go backwards. Hem with a driving run. On to Hasegawa. Kasparai double up on the Manchester City winger. A minimum of three minutes will be added then to the... Had a brilliant first half. And rolls the ball back here towards Hasegawa, looking to open up the space on the right. And the away side into the area, but unable to do too much with it. And away it's cleared. It's Everton nil, Manchester City three. Kiara Keating. Only Zachira Musevic has a higher save percentage. Back, quick thinking from Piemonte, and this might be the opportunity for Everton to get back in the game. Well, it won't quite fall for Nicolene Sorensen. Well, it will be interesting to see how this second half plays out. Manchester City really only need to protect their advantage here. They approach the match. And they've worked it nicely here to Benison. Looks as though Lauren Hemp will be okay to continue. City deliver the corner. Well punched away by Brosnan. Back in by Hasegawa. And Bjorn is there. And Benison sends it on its way. Season to go from strength to strength. Chelsea against Bristol City, 11 minutes gone there, nil-nil. And Sorensen working it wide. Payne delivers, away by Hasegawa. Only as far as Gali, who will strike! Oh, what a hit! Well, that is spectacular. Well, Caroline Ullison, one of the hottest prospects coming out of Denmark, according to Brian Sorensen, the coach. Benison can't bring the ball under control. Went back by Hasegawa, who moves the ball on to Bunny Shaw and then Coombs, working it wide. Oh, for the crossbar for Everton. England's Chloe Kelly, curling one to the back of the area. It's a brilliant ball and it's a... Certainly hasn't been the case in this campaign. Hasegawa spots the room for Coombs. Superb performance from her here this afternoon, looking to lay on another. <laughs> Kelly won't get there this time. Benison able to pass away. And here is Katia Snus. In midfield, the perfect complement to the three that stand ahead of them. Kelly Shaw and Head. Here is Coombs. 
Garley. And Benison rolling away. <laughs> Kelly in towards the front post. This time it's turned away. And Hasegawa does what she has to do to shield the ball away from Benison. Akbo here to Manchester City. Hasegawa picking up the pieces. And now Morgan. Coming on to replace Hasegawa. 